Hey guys, we are so glad to have you back with us today. We miss you so much and we cannot wait to see your faces, um, just like hopefully you're seeing our faces. And uh, we were so happy to see all those videos that we got from you guys with your Bible verse, um, with you saying your Bible verse. So if you learned today's Bible verse, make sure you send us that video too or comment below this video with your video. Um, but we're gonna do that in just a second. So let's start with a song. We're gonna sing one of our very favorite songs in the whole entire world. We're going to sing the pig song. Ready? When I was just a baby, my mother sang this song. It wasn't very pretty, but it wasn't very long. She said that little Christians should learn this song by heart. And then If you're not a pig, let make the difference clearly seen. Pick up that messy bedroom and show your Christian clean. I got up late one morning and hurried out the door. My clothes were scattered everywhere. My clothes were on the floor. When I got home that evening, tight. My mom looked out the window and sang with all her might. Pigs still live in houses and pigs don't make their beds. Pigs still wash their faces, they love the dirt instead. But if you're not a pig, let make the difference clearly seen. Pick up the messy bedroom and show your Christian clean. Just use that soap and water and show your Christian clean. Then everyone around you will know you're Christian clean. Okay, now let's practice our new verse. Uh, last time we memorized Ecclesiastes 9.10. So if you haven't already sent us that video of you saying that, Go ahead and do that as soon as, you know, if your parents let you. But here's our next verse. We're going to learn Proverbs 1, verse 5. We're just going to do the first half of it, okay? Um, so let's read this together. Ready? Proverbs 1, 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. All right, let's just take a second and talk about what that verse means. A wise man. We've talked about this word before, but a wise man is a person who does, they know the right thing and they do the right thing. So this, this is something that we want to be, right? So a wise man, he does two things. He hears, he's listening. He hears, a wise man will hear and will increase they're learning. That means he's constantly learning. He's listening and he's learning. So let's read that verse um, together again. Ready? Proverbs 1 verse 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. Re read that with me one more time. Proverbs 1 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. Okay, so if your mom and dad will let you, I want you to record yourself saying that verse and either send it to us or comment your video below this video. Okay, I cannot wait to see you guys again very, very soon. Welcome back, boys and girls. We're excited that you're joining us this Sunday morning. We have a special story for you, and I'm so excited because we have some special friends to help us out with this story from the Bible. Here they are. I better get out of the way. Guys, 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 guys! I just heard about this shepherd who has 100 sheep! 100! Can you believe that? I gotta meet this guy. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I, well, I, he lives over here somewhere. You could just, you stay right there and I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go, ah! ah what is, what is, I just tripped over 20 white, what is this? You're so adorable. You are just the cutest little thing. What is this? What is this tiny white thing wandering around? You're so cute. You're so cute. Well, hello, stranger. I see you've met Horace. Horace? Yes, Horace, my sheep. You name your sheep? 
Where did the shepherd with 100 sheep? Uh, do you name all of them? Yes, I am. And of course I name them. What would I call them without a name? Uh, how about sheep? No, no, no. They all have to have their own name. Come on over here and see the rest of my sheep. Come on, Horace. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, ah! oh, oh, I, I, I keep tripping over tiny white things. <sighs> Who is this one? Who is this cute little guy? That's Hubert. Oh, I, I, sorry, Hubert. I hope I didn't hurt you. Oh, no, not at all. They are very well padded. Here's the rest of my wonderful sheep. Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, what was that? I didn't hear you. I said, here's the rest of my wonderful sheep. I said, aren't they great? What? What? No. No, I don't, I don't want any cake. What? Wait. You need a rake? What? Wait a minute. Sorry about that. They seem to be in a very talkative mood today. Oh, that's okay. They can get quite loud, can't they? Ah, ah. Who, who is this guy? Isn't she just the sweetest? Uh, yeah, I guess. Say, isn't it hard to keep track of 100 sheep? No, they're good sheep. They're no trouble at all. Um, uh, hey, hey, where's Henry? I don't... I don't see Henry. Oh no! Where is he? Uh, I don't know. But uh, you seem pretty upset. Well, of course I'm upset. Henry is lost. But you have 99 other sheep. Is Henry special or something? Yes, very, very special. Oh no, poor Henry. I have to go find him. Please, help me find Henry. Oh, well. Okay, if he's so special, I'll help you find him. Henry! 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 Oh, Henry, Henry, where are you? Boy, this Henry must be awfully special. You left all the other sheep behind. We have to travel over big hills and through swamps. I'm getting tired. Don't you think we should quit and go back? Go back? We can't. Henry is lost. He's all alone. Something might happen to him. We have to find him. Oh, okay, okay. Please don't worry. He has to be around here someplace. We just have to keep looking and... Ah! Ah! Hey, look, it's Henry. Oh, we found him. Henry, are you all right? I was so worried. I'm glad he's okay. I'm fine too, by the way. Oh, Henry, why did you wander off? Don't you ever do that again! I thought I might have lost you forever! Ah! Did you hear that? Yes. Yes, I did. I don't suppose any of your sheep know how to roar. Nope. They don't. Uh, I was afraid of that. Shouldn't we be running away or something? Ah. Ah! 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 <sighs> 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 Oh, that was close. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Are you crazy? That lion could have killed us. Would you give your life for a sheep? Oh yes. Yes I would. Henry is very special. Yeah, what? Why is he more special than, than all the other sheep? Oh, I mean, all the sheep are special. Each one is very special to me in its own way. So, you would have done this for... Any of your sheep? Why, of course. I couldn't stand it if any one of my sheep were lost. I love all my sheep. Come, let's take Henry back to all of the rest of the sheep. Wow, they look so happy. They're all coming over. They're, they're all crowding around now. Watch, watch, watch out for sheep. Watch out for the sheep. Ah! Wow, those guys are crazy, weren't they? But it was a good story. Hope you enjoyed it. You know, that's a story from the Bible. That's something that God wanted us to learn about. And the reason why is because just like that shepherd, you know, he really loved that sheep. And he really loved all his sheep. Remember, he would have died for any of them if he had to. He was willing to risk his life for any one of his 100 sheep. And that's how much he loved them. And you know, God loves us even more than that. God loves us so much more than that shepherd loved his sheep. He loves every single one of us that much. 
And you know, just like the shepherd had over a hundred sheep, God, there's over a hundred people in the world for him to love. And he loves all of us still. He still loves every single one of us so much that he was willing to die for us. And that's why Jesus died for us on the cross. He died for us. He gave his life for us because he wanted us to be able to be in heaven with him someday. And he paid for our sins so that we don't have to. And he loved us so much. Just like that sheep was lost and he needed someone to come and save him, someone who loved him. The same way, without Jesus, we would be lost today. You know, we would have no hope of going to heaven. There would be no one to pay for our wrong things that we do. But Jesus loved us that much, and every single one of us, that he was willing to die for us and take our place on the cross. And isn't that a good story that we're able to celebrate that? Let's pray, and we'll be done this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, just thank you for the boys and girls who are watching. Lord, I pray that they would be healthy, they would be safe. Lord, that you would bring them back to us soon so that we can see their faces. Lord, we miss them so much. I just pray that you would help them, though, with this story that we learned about today of this good shepherd. Lord, thank you for how good you are to us. Thank you for loving us so much. I pray that each of us would remember today how much you love us and how much we should love others. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us. Hopefully we'll see you again next week. Also on Wednesday night, we'll have another one of our kids' programs posted online. So join us for that. We look forward to seeing you again. Take care and behave yourselves.